And so if a child is engaged in galamsi, it's better you advise the child to get away from that ati illegal activity. Uh, you know, most of them, several of them die. Do you understand it? And they don't mention. It's only small percentage that comes to the public. So you have to advise the child. Get legal source of income for the child, not illegal means. Because uh, if you go and, and steal, I don't think anybody will advise the child to go and steal. It's illegal. In the same manner, you should uh, ask your children to get away from illegal activities. That I'm saying is illegal. If it's small scale mining, fine. If it's large scale mining, fine. These are illegal. The Galamse is illegal activity and they should get away. They are falling our uh, vegetative cover, they are falling our uh, water bodies, and it's not good for this country. Unlike in the past, the Ashanti regional minister says fathers now assist their wives in performing roles that were previously only performed by women. And now the situation has even changed. We have working mothers and then we have the fathers also sharing responsibilities with uh, the mothers. We have men who cook now. Me, myself, if my wife is there or not, I can just get to the kitchen and cook. Uh, so we have some of the responsibilities which previously were dedicated solely to women now being performed by the men. So now uh, it's necessary that we celebrate us. We provide most of the resources in the house, except that we channel them through the women. And for that matter, some of the children might feel that it's the mother that is providing, but it's the man who is actually providing through the women. Meanwhile, Dr. Samuel Amanama, consultant urologist at Kumasi South Hospital, says fathers must take their prostate health seriously. Getting old itself is also a risk factor. And then we know that Ghanaians are getting older or are dying at older age. So it's also a risk factor. Then it's in, it's in families. If your father had it, or your, your senior brother had it, or your junior brother had it, the likelihood of you getting it is very, very high. So most of us walking around are in the risk groups. So if we don't go for medical checkup, as we always tell people to do, the high chance of getting prostate cancer and not knowing and coming very late is very high. Dr. Amanama knows that processed foods, particularly red meat and fat, have been identified as highly risk factors and that men should limit their consumption. Meat, red meat, fat, they are all risk factors. So we always advise people that, please, why don't you, at that age, concentrate on fruits and vegetables so that it keeps you away from getting uh, a higher risk of getting prostate cancer. President of Anak Foundation, Mrs. Ama Iyakukwenu, says there is the need for fathers to be acknowledged. That is why she organizes events every year to recognize them. We are the seventh edition. The seventh edition is for fathers. We had always done it in Kumase, but last year we decided to conduct it outside since some of the men reside in communities outside of Kumase that require this type of health screening. Our goal is to educate men about sickle cell disease and prostate cancer so that they can take their health seriously. Yeah, the prostate and so so and education account. Now, your church, your woman, or my who are doing some senior bay on bit me in a chair. No, my share was you and a She also says that in addition to recognizing the fathers, their health should be taken seriously. A report by Mohammed Nuru D.